Now I'm speaking with Stephen Mason, who is Vice President Aircraft Analysis at CIT Group. Stephen, you put out a paper today about the 330, which uh, probably most of the viewers have not had a chance to read. Could you give us a, an assessment of the 330 and the 330neo that seems to be increasingly getting more and more talk and, and in attention? Sure. Well, we think Airbus uh, have a decision to make with the A330. Uh, they have several options. We're looking at all of those options. The obvious option to us right now is to do something significant with the aircraft. We've seen somewhat declining backlog, backlog to production ratio in the last five years or so and we think that can't go on forever. So they have a decision to make. Do they reduce production? That could be an option for them. Uh, and allow the A350 to take up that market or do they do something for the A330 to try and re-engine it, make it of more value to the customer and, then, and therefore bridge until they can have that technology, that new aircraft technology in this part of the market. So we see, we see um, their decisions um, um, being based on various things. One of the main things we see is the production share and market share between Airbus and Boeing in the next 10 years or so for the wide body market. If you look at the 787 and you look at the, the uh, 777X, we think in the 2022 to 2025 time frame that Boeing could be up at a production rate of around 24 aircraft. If you look at the A350, the A330, if Airbus allow the A330 to reduce in terms of production, they're left with the A A350 in this market, and we think they will probably get to around 12 or 14 aircraft in that same time frame. So that leaves them with a gap of about 10 aircraft. And right now, the A330 is at 10 aircraft per month, and that, that 10 aircraft month would fill that gap nicely for them. If they don't do this, there's a chance that they could uh, lose market share, and more importantly, production share. So you would you, you sense then that the 330 there's a strong case for them to go for a 330 neo. There is. There's certainly a case for them to go for. We have assessed the market as well. We looked at the micro level. We looked at airlines who may need capacity in this seat market. And we've looked at the three main markets, which would be North America, Asia, and Europe. And surprisingly to us, we have found that there is major flag carriers within these markets that could do with a, an A330 re-engine, an efficient A330, or a more efficient A330, I should say, in this market. So we definitely see there is a market. Is the market huge? It's certainly not a single aisle market. It's certainly not thousands and thousands of units. But there is certainly hundreds of units that could be sold into this market. Last question. How long do you think it there is time-wise before Airbus has to make a decision on, on this idea? So I think the timing on this is, is, is going to be based off the production schedule for the 787 and the A350. I mean, these aircraft, the 787-8 sits squarely in this market, the A330-200 will be the similar size aircraft, the 787-9 sits squarely with the A330-300. So when those two aircraft from Boeing start getting into service more and more and more, and when their availability becomes you know, open for, for uh, airlines wanting to purchase them today, I think that's when you know, the A330 re-engine could become a challenge. So before then is where they have to get the aircraft into the market. So we think around 2018 is around the right time for that. If it was 2019, that might be okay as well. But when you start, start getting out to 2023, 2024, you know, it could become more challenge for them to make a success. So when, you, so when you say 2017, 2018, that would be EIS for the airplane, which means they have to bring the decision on making this move. How many months from now? I think they need to make a decision within the next you know, four to six months on this because timing is key, as you said. Uh, to, to get an entry to service of probably 2018 is more realistic. Um, I think they, they, wanna, they, they will probably want to make that decision, perhaps by, by far this year. Thank you. Thank you.